time has come for rifts and revelations, for way out trips to inner space. If truth is one, then it must be our perspectives that are fragmented. Now, we may not have all the answers, but let's attempt to understand the question through large, creative, poetic fires, or maybe just a flame. I got a story to tell, to tell ideas, kiss similes so deeply. That poetry. Your existence is fresh. Status quo. I just got my wings. And I was searching. My people was in the house. Rock the empty pursuit of props. Pharmaceutical schemes. Somebody got to hear my story. Give it up, give it up, give it up. Russell Simmons presents that poetry. Poetry. Yes, yes. Our next guest is a true revolutionary, a true man. Uh, he's a screenwriter, director, author, college professor, youth advocate. And on top of that, all of that, an incredibly deaf poet. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm deaf poetry welcome to my friend, my mentor, one of my heroes, the powerful Mr. Jamal Joseph. There's a startling statistic. Having been in the penitentiary in the university, it is startling to me that there are more young black men in prison than there are in colleges at this very moment. A poem for all of the young brothers who are soldiers but are confused about the battle. I often hear gunshots from my window. Not missiles of liberation demanding freedom long overdue, sometimes, sometimes police bullets on yet another questionable mission of protection, but more often than not just plain old gunshots. Messages of confusion and greed fight at one another with weapons of ignorance. Now, a 15-year-old kid named Billy walks down the street with a pump shotgun. Now, Billy's mad, real mad, you understand, because Ricky Dew, a baby-faced 16-year-old who can barely read or write, has the nerve to sell drugs on this corner. Never mind the children playing the bodega. The old folks who have lived around here for 50 years, never mind that. This is Billy's corner, and nobody, nobody has the right to dispense death on it except him. Ricky Dew stands next to his brand new BMW one hot summer afternoon when 450 years of self-hate and deprivation decide to collide with his dream of being the biggest drug dealer in Harlem. Fire one! Adrenaline races, people scream, and Billy Bad Shot that he is has just killed a four-year-old child. Fire two! Ricky Dew's face and the windshield of the BMW are shattered, and Billy, well, he'll be dead in a week or in jail in a week, or a federal witness within a week, and 10 more will step up to take his place. God, we need help. Or maybe we need a God-given war, but things have got to change, and I, I often hear gunshots from my window. Except last night, it was firecrackers. Set off at 2 a.m. on the corner by the kids who sell cracks on the corner that all of the cops and all of the babies know about. But what the hell? Last night, it was only firecrackers. And everybody celebrates the 4th of July in Harlem. Even the drug dealers. And isn't that crazy? And isn't that just right that we should celebrate the birth of a nation that killed Malcolm, Martin, and Ricky Do? And for the first time in my life, I thought, maybe we deserve this. Maybe we deserve this because you see, brothers and sisters, we have always, always been accomplices in our own murder, if not as participants, then as silent witnesses. And I, 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 I often hear gunshots from my window, not missiles of liberation demanding freedom long overdue, but pow, 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 pow. rat ta 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 Thank you. Power to the people. Thank you. Primo Mio. Thank you. Give it up for Jamal Joseph, y'all. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Thank you for coming out. God bless you. Good night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.